Hi guys, how are you? Anyway, I'm here this morning and I thought I would log in and let you guys join me just for a little. Let me. Oops, let me. Okay. Just bear with me trying to invite friends here. Oops. Sorry, I know that is not nice. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, so the topic for today is coercive control. And um, it's about, you know, abuse. We often speak about physical abuse, but we never really speak about coercive control. And a lot of deaths has been happening. The latest one at the moment was the 21-year-old who killed the mother, the mother and the daughter. Yes, thank you for staying tuned in with me. You're here. You're here in the studios with Lady Spencer and I'll be taking you up until 12 midday. Just stay tuned in and if you'd like to join the conversation, as I said, the topics in which I discuss, they're quite sensitive and you may not want to share your personal stories. But if you do have an opinion, join me in the studios on 0753-996-8143. So that is 0753-996-8143. The Breakfast Show with Lady Spencer gives you more and gets you out of bed on Omega Radio 104.1 FM on the radio station that gives you more. Yes, and for those of you who know I'm a therapist, and if you ever really need to speak to someone, you can contact us on our confidential helpline, or you can check our website. There are times when the challenges of life make us feel overwhelmed and isolated, and we can find it hard to express how we feel, even to those closest to us. At the Frontier Psychotherapy Practice, we help you find clarity and understanding. We'll guide you towards implementing positive change that leads to a more balanced and stress-free one of life. Yes, guys, how are you doing? So, yes, I'm speaking about coercive control and about how persons suffer in silence and when we talk about physical abuse everybody knows what we're talking about and everybody sees the signs but when it's coercive control persons are suffer in silence all the time once you log on just give me some hearts give me your favorite emoji show me some love that you're joining me here today how are you guys? How are you doing? For a free confidential consultation, contact us by phone or through our website at proteapsychotherapy.com. The Protea Psychotherapy Practice. Expert clinical psychotherapists in London. And as I said before, if you feel the need that you need to speak to anybody about the subjects which I'm discussing, you can go ahead and contact us through our website, which is www.proteapsychotherapy.com. That is P-R-O-T-E-A, proteapsychotherapy.com. And the topic for today is coercive control. I'm going to be playing a few songs here. And the songs are in alignment with the theme of the discussion for today. So let me put this one on the dial for you. It's Adele, someone like you. Hi guys, hi Abigail, how are you? Good day, good day, good day. I won't be staying long on here with you, but I thought I would chime in and just make my presence on my page and pro promote Protea because it's all about mental health. We are 
we're approaching the Christmas season and we often get caught up and swept up in the festivity of what happens during this time. But most times, more than not, we forget about those persons who suffer in silence, who is lonely. As I mentioned before, suicide rate does go up very, very high at this time of the year. Um, so if it's within your powers, make contact with those people who may well need you. That family member which you have not spoken to in years, they could benefit from maybe a phone call or an invite for dinner if it's an amicable situation. But just be mindful that this is a time of year when a lot of persons are um, reminded of their childhood and what they forego or suffered as a child. It may be the time where persons have lost a loved one and this conjures a lot of memories. So guys, just be mindful that in our festivity and our plight to be happy and joyous that we remember those who aren't as fortunate as we are mentally not all of us has the luxury of a mental serenity and we should make the most hi beautiful how are you thank you very much yes so the topic for today is about cheating is about abuse is about all of that last week i had a discussion about you know there was this big hoo-ha about you should not go back to jamaica you shouldn't go home and i was a little bit befuddled by that because I'm sure Jamaica, Jamaica might be the one that's making the news because we always do. But I'm sure there's debts and stuff in all the Caribbean countries and African countries and other countries where people migrate from. It so happened that like Jamaica is just this thing where we're talking a few weeks ago about Dalton Harris. We often speak about Usain Bolt. You know, there's a lot of conversations and a lot of noise around Jamaica, good publicity and some bad publicity. But whatever it is, we keep talking about Jamaica, don't we? So I mentioned about the person who was killed, Karen Clary Brown, and the stories around her. And I felt the narrative of that story was a little bit taken to the perspective of what was said on the media about not going back to Jamaica because of all these killings. But it's so transpired that there's been a twist to the story. And I felt it's only fair that if I brought the story to you, then I need to revisit the story to bring in it, bring it to you in its entirety because it's not fair just to show you one side and then there's new developments and I don't speak about it. So now I want to speak about it on the premise about promiscuity and we often speak about men having several partners, but we often not speak about when the women have several partners and why would we as women feel the need the desire from a psychological perspective maybe from a socio-economic reason to feel the need to have three companions at the same time you know having three partners three male partners is that a natural perspective is that biological is that natural Thank you for staying tuned and I hope you enjoy that song. As I said, I'm here. I will be taking you up until 12 midday today. If you'd like to join the conversation, the telephone line is 0753-996-8143. Today I'm talking about coercive control and should anybody be suffering in silence from the topics I'm discussing today or should my topic, sensitive topic that I'm discussing, conjure any emotion, the help line for domestic violence is 0808-2247. I'll repeat, and that's the domestic violence hotline, and it's 0808-2247. So just make a note of that, just in case you need to use it. The next song I will be playing for you here is... You know, I've been on the festive season and I've been quite jolly all morning because I've been here since seven o'clock. And thank you. 
for those of you who have been tuning in who have stayed with me but right now i'm changing the tone of the conversation to something a little bit more serious something that is affecting us as a society that needs to be discussed and as per my forte from the psychological perspective of how this is impacting us as a society right now i've got on the doll you're beautiful and that is by jason blunt james blunt sorry Yes, guys, if you have anything that you'd like to add to the discussion about coercive control, drop them there in the comments and I will totally respond to you later. Greetings, greetings to you. <laughs> All right, let me try and read some of these comments here. Hi, Abigail. Thank you, sweetie. Hi, cuz. How are you? Greetings, greetings, yes. So I'm talking about coercive control and it's about the abuse because we often speak about the physical abuse and sometimes the emotional abuse, but we don't talk about all the coercive controls which, sorry, I'm trying to multitask here. I'm a woman, I'm supposed to be able to multitask, but hey. So should I be talking about anything of interest to you? Go ahead and drop that in the comments and we'll keep the conversations going. I do not intend on staying on here very long with you today, but thought I would open and give you my regards and show you some love. So, all right, this is me. I'll be signing off here. Yes, I'll be signing off here, guys. Thank you for staying tuned. Yes, there's a wide spectrum. Yes. Yes, you're absolutely right, Abigail. What? Yes, yes, yes. But who brought in the whole monogamous relationship who brought that in is it natural for us to have warm partner is 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 that the way it is supposed to be and the other question with that is when men men when men are promiscuous they're given a lot more leniencies and it's okay and it's just men but what happens when women do it the judgment the stigma the the shame which is attached to that Yes, it's time to face the truth. Yes, I'll never be with you. And I guess that is the situation with the latest incident with a lady who was killed by her alleged partner. The story has unfolded that the person to whom killed her is her partner, someone she was seen. And I guess he may have killed her in the rage of passion. So it might have been a crime of passion obviously I was not there so everything I regurgitate everything I refer to is something that has been put either on social media um, the tabloids the articles the news but I was not there so it's alleged as far as I'm concerned and he killed her so this song is so in alignment with that you know she's beautiful but he will never be with her all right, let me get this one on for you. And guess what it is? It is by Rihanna and it's Take a Bow. Because oftentimes we cheat, we do things and we want to say we're sorry. But are we? Really? All right, let me put this one on the dial. Stay tuned. You're here with Lady Spencer.
Yes, honey, I will absolutely reply to all of that. Yes, we do try to force others to do it exactly. But when men do it, they don't get shamed about it, do they? Oops, sorry. Alright, this is me. I'll be signing off here and I'll get back in tune with you later. Thank you.